Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, <clears throat> and we are back. Let's play Dark Souls Remastered on the PC. Last time, we spent uh, way too long talking to various NPCs, and well, that's not going to happen this time. This time, instead, we're going to do a couple of minor things, and then head to... I think we're going to take a quick detour to the catacombs, the, the graveyard area by... Or the area past the graveyard, past the... Firelink uh, Shrine. I was going to go straight back down to Blight Town, but there is a couple things that I want to try to uh, do in the catacombs. Not a whole terrible lot, really. But I'm not sure if there is a character down there, or if he's disappeared, or if he's going to disappear if we finish the Blight Town area. This wasn't my original plan, but oh well. Uh, also, not in my original plan, I was not planning to get 94,000 souls from doing Warrior of the Sunlight boss invasions, but I did. And I also got, let's see, yeah, a whole bunch of uh, Sunlight Medals here. So we can go ahead and donate them here. Let's offer... Can I offer all of them? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. I think, I think in the original game you might have had to offer one at a time. But we offer all of them. I think we only needed five more to get to rank two. Yeah, we got Great Lightning Spirit Miracle. Beautiful. And then I think we would only need like another five or ten more to get to the final rank. But you don't get any bonus for that until New Game Plus. So eventually we're just going to go ahead and abandon this. Okay, so I do have... Homeward Bone set to Firelink Shrine. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I just basically did a whole bunch of invasions over by the Gaping Dragon. Or not invasions. Uh, boss boss co-ops over there. So it worked out pretty good. By the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but the more people that are summoned for a boss, or the more people that face a boss, the more health they have. So, there was times when a guy summoned me, he summoned Solaire, and I think he also summoned Lautrec. That was four people on the boss, and yeah, we were just doing a ton of damage to him, so... Oh well. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these souls to use, not at the bonfire though. There's a couple things that I want to get. Primarily, I want to get my Pyromancy Flame to level 10, because that'll enable us to meet a specific... NPC down in Blight Town when we go down there. We could meet her later, uh, after getting to uh, number, after upgrading it to level 10, but this way some of her dialogue will make slightly more sense. If you if you meet her after killing the area boss, her dialogue still makes sense, but it just makes slightly more sense if you talk to her before killing the boss. It's not 100% critical, but you might as well try. Oh, hello there. As always. Okay, you already told me all that stuff. Let's modify our Pyromancy Flame up to level 10. I'm probably not going to use the actual flame too much. I just want to get it high level. And yeah, it is reasonably expensive, but that's fine. Um, I don't think you have to get it to the plus 15. So we're not going to bother with that. Uh, do you have any... You have Fire Orb. I'm not going to buy that. Eh, screw it, let's buy it. I, I was thinking maybe just wait, but no, we could use that for other stuff. I don't think he says anything now that we've bought all of his pyromancies. No? Okay, good. You just wanted to check. Anyways, uh, we also want to go talk to... The magician and buy some more spells just because we have the the souls for it. and by more spells I mean that ring that increases our damage by 20% yeah let's go ahead and just get that right there beautiful and then we have a few more spells to get uh, fall control will be useful later so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up great heavy soul arrow we could use another copy but I'm not worried about that just at the moment um, Okay, he doesn't have the the one that I was looking for, but oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and get another copy of Great Heavy. Actually, no, Great Heavy Soul Arrow is good because it's basically 
is basically a combination between Great Soul Arrow and Heavy Soul Arrow, so it casts really slow, but it does a ton of damage. Grab that. Grab regular Soul Arrow. And Oral Decoy, that just... I think this just makes a noise somewhere. Yeah. I don't think I ever actually use it, but there we go. And then... All right. That should help May we meet again. That should do it, I think. I don't think we have enough for a level... No, we need like 10,000. Okay, that's fine. Um, Attune Magic here. We have... Let's see, we have Soul Arrow. We have... Heavy Soul Arrow, Heavy Soul Arrow, and Great Soul Arrow. Uh... Let's trade out for a great heavy soul arrow there. Um, just to give it a shot. Okay, so let's see. Soul arrow, heavy, great and great. If I remember correctly, great is the one that I care about. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and head over towards the the area with the giants. I believe it's called the catacombs. I might be mistaken on that. It's always possible that I'm mistaken on it. Actually, always probable is probably more like it. And we should be able to handle the skeletons here a lot better now that we have higher magic and whatnot. And I'm just going to try to not die here. Roll through that. Not where I was trying to go since I kind of fail at finding my way around. But, yeah. The only reason I'm trying to go down here real right now is because I think there's an NPC that we might not have access to um, later after we ring the second bell of awakening in Blight Town. I think because I I know I know that the NPC shows up here, but I don't know what the condition is for him disappearing because eventually after going too far he'll just kind of wander off and never come back. Okay, if you notice this guy came back to life. Uh, this. That's the main gimmick of this area, is that all the skeletons will come back to life because there are magicians bringing them back to life. I believe they're called necromancers. And these purple dudes, they get close to you. And they're basically like the lights from... What was that area in Demon Souls? Uh... The, the, the flying area. Yeah, they'll basically just uh, explode on you. Which is not what you're trying to deal with here. Let's see, we're looking for... By the way, if I actually find the guy that I'm looking for and talk to him, I'll probably just tumble bone out of here and I'll come back here later. Because it's not really necessary. Okay, there's the bonfire. Let's just get it. Let's kill this guy first though. This guy right here, this is the Necromancer. He's much like the Crystal Lizards in the fact that he will not respawn. So after this, you come back through here and the skeletons will no longer try to respawn forever. So that's great. Okay, this is actually working out pretty good. I think they're actually a little weaker down here. Or at least it seems like. I uh, never, never mind. I think our just magic is just doing good enough damage that it makes it seem like they're a little weaker. There you go. Goodbye. Uh, I just want to light you. I don't actually want to rest. Thank you. And we push this bad boy in. And that should open up a door back where in the area that we just were. Yeah, if, if you had noticed when we were killing these skeletons earlier, 
they weren't actually giving us any souls when we killed them the first time, because we weren't actually technically killing them, we were just kind of inconveniencing them, really. If you have a certain type of weapon upgrade, called the Divine Weapon Upgrade Path, uh, you can permanently kill these skeletons without having to kill the Necromancer, so that's always real nice. But the problem is... You're not always going to have it. And I'm going to see if I can. Oh, speaking of which, I better put on that ring that increases my damage because that'd be great. Uh, rusted ring, we don't need you. We need you. There you go. Okay. Now, I think this guy right here, he is the fella that is controlling these particular skeletons here. So if we kill him, yeah, all these other skeletons will be dead. Unfortunately, they're not like the Necromancer from Demon's Soul where you kill him and all their little all their little minion dudes just straight up die that'd be nice but that's not the way it works unfortunately and yeah luckily these guys when they roll they don't just kind of chip away at your armor that's fantastic okay yeah that guy did control that guy so he has souls to give me now yeah we're still not getting very much in the way of souls here but oh well uh, let's try out our new Great Heavy Soul Arrow. Yeah, still takes forever to cast, but does lots and lots of damage. I like it. Okay, let's see. Okay, that thing is inaccessible at the moment because it's made of spikes. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, that guy, he's going to try to see me. You guys, I think you guys are controlled by a different Skeletal Master. Yeah, they're not actually dying. I think if we get them to, like, fall off the edge, though, we might not have to deal with them. Yeah, that would actually... I don't think it permanently kills them, but it makes it so that they're not just going to respawn right there, so that's nice. And I think you're still part of the other guy that we killed earlier. So, goodbye, sir. Yes, you are. Fantastic. And... Something just blew something at me. Uh, it was... Oh, you. Apparently you have a bow up there. I didn't see you. Yeah, he's hidden in the perfect spot that you can't see him. So, thanks. I appreciate that game. I think there might be another one trying to shoot me because, well, I was shot by something at least. I don't know what. Yeah, right, goodbye. Yeah, is there another guy up there? If there is, I can't really see him. Uh, let's get to Great Soul Arrow since that's the fastest cast that we have at the moment. There are areas down here where if you step on the floor, you'll fall through. Hang on one second, I need some water. Okay. Um, but I don't think they're right in this particular area. Are you permanent dead? Yes, you are. Okay, good. Yeah, luckily the Necromancers, they do have a pretty wide area of the skeletons that they cover, so that's very helpful. And yeah, the skeletons do like to just kind of show back up. Goodbye. Hopefully we don't have to go too far to find the character that I'm looking for, because if we do, I'm going to run out of spell casts. Ooh, Lucerne. That is a halberd-type weapon, and I'm going to go ahead and pop my homeward bone on here. That way we're good to leave when we need to. Is there anything in the pot? No. I think the humanity hollows are only in there when uh, there's actually a body visible. You want to not waste all my spell cast by dashing around like a bozo? Thanks. Actually, I think the Lucerne might actually scale with Faith. And I see you over there, dude. Um, 
Yes, you. I see you. Yeah, I think the Lucerne might be a faith scaling halberd. Nope. I know there are some that do scale with faith. I might be thinking of a different game somewhere, though. Okay, never mind. Let's see, who is going to show up here? I see you. I'm hoping you're still part of the Please Die Forever Club. You are? Okay, good. Okay, that is the way forward, I do believe. This is where we started. Okay, here's an item for us. That's always fantastic. Or soul perfect, I'll take it. Um, oh, I think that was the one that we were looking at earlier and we couldn't figure out how to get to. I'm probably going to miss some stuff in this area, but eh, deal with it. Because I'm going to. And by I'm going to, I mean I'm going to deal with it. And if we do miss stuff, we'll, we'll get it on our other pass. By the way, if you hear fireworks, it's because it's 4th of July. And by 4th of July, I mean July 3rd at 11.30 p.m. So people are like, hey, might as well start early. Yeah, so thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Okay, we can't break that. I thought we might be able to. Okay, so that should be everything here. Now, let's see if we can't find somebody. Specifically, somebody that we are actually familiar with. I think he might be gone already. Anyway, I watch out for these statues. They put out those spikes that are not good for your health. Um, and I think right here, this is a opportunity of skeletons not being alive. Or dead yet. Yeah, they're not dead. Um, that means we gotta find... We need to find your, your buddy. And it looks like the person that I'm thinking of is not here. So I might not even stick around. Yeah, it looks like the person I'm thinking of didn't even show back up. I'll get back here off screen uh, just to make sure I didn't miss him. And then if he's not here, then we'll go back towards Light Town. So hang on. Alrighty, we're back over where I died at. Uh, the first time I died on my way back here because I made the mistake of trying to run past the skeletons. I kind of forgot they were there. So, oops. Anyways, this is where we died around here. Um, and there's the little dude that summons the skeletons here. So if we can get him to aggro on us, that'd be great. Uh, the problem is... I don't know if we're going to be able to... By the way, I figured out why the skeletons didn't die when they went down to the floor. It's because it's not really that far of a drop. Like, it might kill us, but I don't think it's going to kill them. And, yeah, we got to try to not die to him. If I can get him in my line of sight, that'd be great. The problem is he has much better, he has much better aim than I do. Yeah, he has way better aim than I do, that's for sure. So we're going to have to do this the uh, hard way, I do believe. So that's a real shame. Uh, are you going to attack me yet, dude, or no? Come on. Yeah, they have a nice bastard move, putting him just where you can't reach him. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. Now, if you are smart enough, you can get these guys to work for you by... Well, I was going to say knocking these guys off the edge, but it didn't work out so well. Oh, come on. If you didn't take like a year to drink your freaking Estus, we would be out of here already. Okay. K. 
can I get you guys stuck here? Because that'd be fantastic. I don't think so. Okay, I'll be right back. Actually, before we get too far, let's go ahead and take a quick detour to this guy in the undead. Uh, I think it's the Berg. Uh, you know, the first little area. Still keeping your marbles all together? Then go ahead, don't be a nitwit. Never hurts to splurge when your days are numbered. <laughs> Did you call me a nitwit? But either way, I'm here to get a a short bow here. Just for the fact that it'll help out with killing that guy. Make our life a little easier here. Let's see, how many large arrows can we get? Seven. Yeah, that's not worth it. Uh, let's just get a whole bunch of these arrows here. We could get wooden arrows, but... Well, those are extra weak, so I'm good. And you can't manually aim crossbows, just like in Demon Souls, so no point getting that. I think this guy does say some stuff. Eh? My wares? Of course they're stolen. What did you think? And when you lose your head, I'll sell it all again. <laughs> You're a real stand-up filly, you know that? Ah, oh, this one. Ain't she lovely? Her name is Yulia. She's plumb in love with me. You'd never leave my side now, would you, Yulia? If you hear that scratching sound, that's a dog. So, sorry. Can't really do a whole lot about her, even though she is... Yeah, she's going in between outside and inside, so I don't know what she's doing. Uh, he mentioned uh, something called Yulia there. A lot of people are confused as to what the heck that is. Um, some people think that it is the bucket right here. But if you kill this guy, he does drop a Uchigatana, and I do believe that's what he's actually referring to, is the name of his Uchigatana. So, he's... I don't I don't think there's actually too many places to get a Uchigatana besides killing this guy. Like, I don't remember where else you get it from, but if you wanted to kill him for it, go for it. But he does sell some stuff, like the Lloyd's Talismans that are hard to find other places. So... It's up to you if you want the sword or the wares. Oh, you can forget it. I'm all that she needs. Careful! She'll bite your little fingers off. Be kind, Yulia, be kind. <laughs> here, I'm not here to chit chat. We talk. Okay, you're here to chit chat. Yeah, I think the stuff that he sells that's unique is Lloyd's Talisman, um, possibly the dried finger. I'm not entirely sure about that, though. Uh, yeah, I think mainly just the Lloyd's Talisman. I mean, you can buy it later with the DLC or the add-on stuff, but I think it's more expensive where you can buy it there. And also, it's one of the cheaper places to buy the... Oh, screw you. To buy the fire bombs there. Um, I think that should do it then, so I'll go ahead and meet you guys back, out, back again in the catacombs. Alrighty, let's uh, try this again here. Uh, let's put on our short bow and arrows here. And let's hope that we can kill this guy, because that'd be great. Now, can I get him from a distance? I think I can. It might take forever to kill him. But hey, this way I don't got to deal with him later, so I'm willing to deal with it. Makes my life a little easier. I, mean, I, I can just kill these guys and be happy. Oh, and his fireball does not reach me back here. And he's not gonna... Okay, good. I can reach him. He can't reach me. Perfect. Uh, hopefully 27 arrows is enough to kill this guy. I'm assuming it is, but, well, sometimes it isn't. I don't think shooting him in the head does anything. You know, besides making me miss. Yeah, so we're fine just killing him regularly. Oh, no, we, did, we got his head there. Okay. Either that or we got something that's similar to his head. We might have got his other head. I don't know. Got him. Okay. And now if we can get this guy to... Suicide after us, that'd be great.
Come on, fellas. By the way, it turns out that uh, they do die down there, just not all the time. Okay, you guys are going to go ahead and explode on me. That's great. I think you guys could just explode on the skeletons. Perfect. Yeah, if they explode on the skeletons, that makes my life much happier. Thank you. I don't mind taking that little bit of damage there. Uh, you must have just zoned into existence. Goodbye. Yeah, this makes it easier. By the way, I, lost, I also lost uh, my seven liquid humanity that I had, which was mainly gotten from what is it, uh, the boss invasions, but eh, we'll get those back eventually. I'm going to need 30 at some point, but not anytime soon. You want to stop blocking everything, guy? Thanks. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and pop our heavy soul arrow here. Uh, let's see. I think the person that I'm looking for would normally be around here if he was here, but I don't think he doesn't appear to be. That moves... I think it moved that thing right there so you can actually cross it now. Yeah, now it's not all spiky so you can actually utilize it. Then again, the character that we're looking for, he might still be further down, I'm not sure. I think it's supposed to be, like, right there, actually. I think what happened was he might disappear after after uh, Petrus comes back, or after you talk to Petrus, after he comes back from betraying Rhea. I think that's what happened. I'm not entirely sure, but that's my best guess. Yeah, because he would normally be right there. It's really easy to miss, too, because, well, he's just not very easy to remember. Uh, trying to decide if we should just go through the rest of the catacombs here. Um, just to get out of the way. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll give it a shot. We're here. Might as well do what we can. Now, if we go over here, yeah, I think this right here, this is one of those uh, floors that's going to collapse on us if we're not careful. And there's the Necro Dude. Now, I think you have skeletons that are going to crawl out of here. You know what, screw it, we're going back to, we're going back to Blight Town where it's safe. Yeah, we'll just come. I, we can finish this area, but I don't feel like clearing all those damn skeletons again. Heh. Hey, we'll figure it out next time. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.